If you are looking to get involved in the Cleveland real estate market, folks, this is where you want to be. I am your guy to help you invest in said market. And today I'm helping a client of mine. His name is Dan. Dan, me and you are building a big old portfolio. You're from Jersey. The property I'm looking at for, the street's called New Jersey. Man, it's like a match made in heaven. Like a super kick to the face, baby. Like getting an F5 all day, every night at WrestleMania weekend. I'm trailing off. None of that has anything to do with the video. People are like, what is this guy doing? Why is he rambling about wrestling? Folks, it's the day after WrestleMania weekend, right? I mean, geez, come on, have a little fun. Doesn't anybody out there watch wrestling as well as real estate? If you do, check out this shirt right here. Real Estate 316, use the promo code HWTV10 to get 10% off below. But anyway, back to, to where I was. My man, Dan, you've been building a big portfolio in the Cleveland market, and I got a property for you. I love, love this one, dude. This is going to be one of the higher quality multifamily investment properties you and I have gone over. You've got some good stuff. I'm not saying like you bought trash, but, uh, you know, there's varying levels of asset quality, and this is going to be on the higher end of that spectrum when it comes to your portfolio. Let's check it out. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. I am James Wise, and I help you invest in Cleveland. I help you run numbers on deals in Cleveland. I help you do property management in Cleveland. And today I got a beautiful one here, right? Nice side-by-side -side duplex. By the way, I've said Cleveland. I help you do property management in Cleveland, construction in Cleveland, leasing in Cleveland, brokerage services in Cleveland. But what I really mean is the greater Cleveland area, right? Because this one's not in the city of Cleveland. It's Lorraine, right? We work the whole Northeast Ohio area. And actually, I believe Lorraine is actually more attractive than the city of Cleveland. I think they're more landlord friendly. Uh, those pesky new lead paint regulations, which if you've never heard of those, uh, they're going on in Cleveland right now as we speak. And I have a video explaining that entire process uh, below, so check that out. Uh, but those pesky regulations don't have to deal with them in Lorraine. And guess what? If for some reason Lorraine decided eventually you do need to deal with them, you won't need to deal with them on this house because this house is brand new when it comes to investment properties comparatively. <laughs> it's built in 79. Lead paint was uh, made illegal in Ohio in 78. And for those of you out there who are like, dude, 79, that's old, bro. Nah. Not when it comes to investing in Northeast Ohio, folks. Most duplexes in Northeast Ohio Built like 1920, right? A lot of them are about 100 years old. So 1979, whoo, that means the main stack going under your yard. A lot newer, right? Like 50 years newer. Uh, electrical wiring, 50 years newer, right? Here's a little tidbit. I'm sure a lot of you don't know this. Uh, knob and tube wiring that gets installed in the 20s. Yeah, it's still present in like 95% of those houses out here in Cleveland, right? This one, not so much, okay? Uh, galvanized piping throughout the house, right? Galvanized uh, stuff, not going to have it here either, right? So there's some inherent benefits to getting newer stock, right? So this is one of the newest properties. So it's very nice, but you will pay a little bit of a premium for that, but that's okay because this thing's going to make money, man. 1405 New Jersey Avenue, Lorraine, Ohio. Just hit the market. 167. I don't think you could get it for 167. We're going to be aggressive because this is probably one of the nicer assets. It's definitely the nicest duplex in the entire city of Lorraine, which I love, man. They got two new uh, naval bases uh, getting installed out there, right? That's like, I don't know, three, four, five thousand 5,000 jobs somewhere in there. Now, that might not sound like uh, an amazing amount of jobs, but, folks, when you're looking at like a, like a low – population size city such as this right it's it's not like new york city there's not like eight million people here right it's small population city right well under a hundred thousand okay well under a hundred thousand that's that's a lot of jobs okay uh and more jobs equals more demand more demand equals higher prices in the future more appreciation in the future right so i think we should bid 170 what we're gonna get 
is market rents, two tenants paying nine and a quarter, eighteen fifty a month, twenty two point two for the year. Of course, you don't get to keep that, folks. You got to factor in fixed variable expense estimates. I've managed thousands of tenants, so I could tell you a reasonable estimation of performance when all things are considered is a little bit over eleven thousand. If you bought it for one seventy, you're only putting down forty two and a half. Banks kicking in one twenty seven. Man, that's why I love real estate. Man, the bank pays for three fourths of the pie, and then the tenants pay off the loan. It's beautiful. Should project out to a cash cash on cash return long term eleven percent. But you got to think when comparing this to other assets. All that stuff I talked about about it being newer. Yeah, that's gonna help, right? It's gonna help, right? You're gonna trend on the better end of these estimates, right? In addition. Tenants do not move out of really nice stuff like this, right? Especially when you get the side-by-side -side versus the up-down. To further prove that evidence, I gave you the market rents. This is a double-edged sword here, right? Uh, on the bad, good news, bad news sandwich coming your way, right? On the bad side, uh, there's not actually tenants paying market rent yet, okay? On the good side, the tenants that are currently there are paying a decent chunk, and guess what? They've been there 10 years, right? Uh, they're paying seven fifty and six and a quarter. So we want to slowly move them up, right? What we don't want to do is remove them. I'll tell you this: if landlord A is over here and he's got a dude paying seven fifty and he lives there for ten years, right? He's probably going to stay, right? Looks like, let's say you get twenty years out of that tenant at seven fifty, and then landlord B over here is getting nine and a quarter, but he's changing out his tenant every two years. Who do you think is going to make more money? It's landlord A, right? Uh, and you get that by having nice new housing stock. You get that by having side-by-side -side versus up-down. Both these tenants actually get uh, their own garage, right? You each get one side of the garage or whatever, right? These are all valuable things, right, that will help reduce your turnover. And when you reduce your turnover, obviously you increase the amount of rent you actually collect. You reduce your eviction costs. You actually reduce your uh, repairs and maintenance. The majority of your repairs and maintenance actually comes uh, from the turnovers, right? Like pull up the chart again. In here, you see I got you uh, saving, right? 1100 or so a year for repairs and maintenance. But like, and then it's like the monthly breakdown is 92. I think a lot of new investors out there think that like, oh, you're going to see like $92 charges every month or something. No, that's not how it is. You're going to see like nothing for a very long time. And then bam, you're going to get like a $5,000 turnover, right? So the fewer turnovers you get over the course of your ownership, much better that your property is going to do. And then last thing, the other thing I like about this house is it's a 3-2, right? Each unit is a 3-2. More often than not, when you're in the Cleveland market, you are looking at up-down duplexes that have two beds and one bath. This one, side-by-side, -side, 50 years newer, extra bath per unit, extra bedroom per unit, garage space per tenant. This thing, it's got all the intangibles, right, that maybe don't necessarily reflect on our charts here. But I can tell you from experience, from dealing with all types of tenants, all types of properties, that this one is one I really, really want you to move on. This one is a really good one to keep in your portfolio for the long haul. Let me know. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.